Ukrainian kamikaze drones attacked the Russian Savaslika airfield on August 16. Three Russian aircraft were destroyed there. This was reported by RBC Ukraine with reference to sources. According to sources, on August 16, as a result of the operation of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense, a kamikaze drone strike was carried out on the Savaslika military airfield, which is located in the Nizhny Novgorod region of the Russian Federation. According to military intelligence sources, the attack destroyed a MiG-31K-I aircraft, two IL-76 aircraft and damaged about five aircraft, probably MiG-31K-Is. Before this, another attack was carried out on the airfield on August 13. As a result, the fuel and lubricants train was hit and the MiG-31K-I aircraft was damaged. According to Space Intelligence, at the time of the attack on August 13, there were 11 MiG-31K-I aircraft, an IL-76 aircraft, and 5 Mi-8 and Mi-24 helicopters at the specified airfield. The Savaslika airfield is a military airfield located in the Nizhny Novgorod region of Russia, near the village of the same name. The Russian Federation uses it to train aviation specialists, test new types of aviation equipment, and train military pilots. Various types of combat aircraft, including fighters and bombers, are based there, as well as training aviation units. The airfield is known for conducting special tests of new aviation technologies and equipment, and for servicing aircraft from various military units. Belarus has deployed aircraft and air defense troops to the border with Ukraine a day after President Alexander Lukashenko announced he would station about a third of the country's troops along the border, according to Associated Press. The Belarusian military has deployed anti-aircraft missiles and soldiers from the Radio Technical Corps, Major General Andrei Lukianovich, commander of the Belarusian Air Defense Forces, said on national television. He called the move a significant increase. Associated Press recalls that the Belarusian army has a total of about 60,000 troops. Recently, Lukashenko said that Belarus had redeployed almost a third of its army to the border with Ukraine. This is due to the fact that there are allegedly more than 120,000 Ukrainian soldiers there. In his opinion, Ukraine believes that Putin will again attack from the territory of Belarus. After the invasion of Ukrainian troops into the Kursk region of the Russian Federation, Lukashenko began calling for negotiations. Ukraine has not confirmed the Belarusian deployment to the 1,084-kilometer common border. Russia has used Belarus which depends on Russian loans and cheap energy as a staging ground for its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, moving its troops through Belarusian territory to attack Ukraine from the north. Russia also moved some of its tactical nuclear weapons to Belarus in 2023. Ukrainian military defeated a group of the 810th Marine Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces in the Kursk region. The battle took place near the Russian village of Kochuk in the Koronevsky district. As a result of the battle, a large number of Russian Marines were killed or wounded. This is reported by the Russian publication ASTRA, citing one of the Z channels. Z channel wrote about the defeat of the Russian Marine Brigade in the Kursk region. According to the Z public, Northern Channel, a group of the 810th Guards Marine Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces suffered losses in the Kursk region. This, as they say, happened near the village of Kochuk in the Koronevsky district of the region, 25 kilometers from Lugov, the report noted. The public page that distributed the message positions itself as a channel of the North Group of Troops. It wrote about the defeat of the Marines allegedly based on messages from the occupiers serving in the 810th Brigade. The 810th Brigade reports that they got into a fight in the forest area near Kochuk. There are many dead and wounded. We will take revenge, the public writes. 
At the same time, ASTRA notes that it has not found confirmation of this information. Let us recall that on August 18 it became known that Ukrainian soldiers captured the commander of a company of Russian Marines. The occupier had previously fought against Ukraine as part of the Wagner PMC, and then signed a contract with the Russian Defense Ministry.